After a long day at work or school, there is no better feeling than roaming around large areas and randomly smashing monsters. Of course, I'm not talking about starting a rampage in your neighborhood, but rather turning on a Monster Hunter game. And there is no shortage of such games, with regular new releases, enhanced versions of existing titles, expansions, and even exclusive local games. With Monster Hunter Rise coming to Microsoft Windows in early 2022 and its expansion Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak coming later this year, now is the perfect time to take a look back at all the Monster Hunter games released so far. I'm Caboose, and here's the complete timeline of Monster Hunter games. Even if there's no direct link between most of the events in Monster Hunter games, we can set a timeline following the generations of Monster Hunter games. Each generation of Monster Hunter games revolves around one main entry in the series. The other games from the same generation usually expand on the original game with enhanced versions or additional content. The first generation of Monster Hunter introduced the core gameplay and aesthetic of the series. It brings 45 monsters and 7 different weapon types to hunt them down. The action spans over 10 different hunting grounds around Kokoto Village and Mineguard town. Kokoto is the main city of the offline mode, while Mineguard is its online counterpart. The series began in 2004 with the original Monster Hunter game. Monster Hunter is an action RPG for the PlayStation 2, the best-selling video game console of all time. The goal is pretty straightforward, defeat powerful monsters who threaten the peace of the Monster Hunter world. It features a single-player campaign and an online game mode with weekly events that provide better rewards. The game is a huge hit in its native country, Japan. Although the hype didn't quite reach the west with this opus, but Monster Hunter will soon take over the entire world. 2005, Monster Hunter G adds more quests, weapons, and monsters to the original Monster Hunter game. Where Monster Hunter didn't see much success overseas, its expansion, Monster Hunter G, never made it out of Japan. This will start a trend for several of the games in the series. 2006, the third game from the first generation is Monster Hunter Freedom, a PlayStation Portable game. Monster Hunter Freedom is based on Monster Hunter G. Unlike its predecessor, Monster Hunter Freedom will reach Europe, North America, Australia, and Korea. This new installment adds treasure hunt quests, a special kind of mission where you need to bring back treasures to win points and unlock powerful items. Monster Hunter Freedom also adds a village farm next to Kokoto and revamps the village. The second generation of Monster Hunter begins with a Japan exclusive game, Monster Hunter 2, the sequel of the original game. This new generation brings day and night cycles, seasons, as well as 36 new monsters. 12 hunting grounds, and 4 additional weapon types. 2006, Monster Hunter 2, also called Monster Hunter Dose, makes its debut in Japan. Just like its predecessor, this PlayStation 2 game tasks the player with hunting down various monsters to protect Jumbo Village in the offline mode and Dundorma in the online mode. Between two hunts, players can also complete gathering quests, which simply require running around the hunting fields, killing small enemies, and picking up flowers. Monster Hunter 2 adds a new feature to the core series, gems. The gems can be attached to pieces of armor or weapons to increase skill points and make your next hunting trip easier. 2007, non-Japanese players finally get their first Monster Hunter game from the second generation, Monster Hunter Freedom 2. This game is the sequel to Monster Hunter Freedom, the PSP game from the first generation. Even though it's titled as a sequel to Monster Hunter Freedom, Monster Hunter Freedom 2 is mainly based on Monster Hunter 2. It takes the monsters and weapons introduced with the second generation of games and adds new features like additional climbing spots and general quality of life improvements. The action takes place in Poke Village, a small town near the snow Mountains. In Asia, Monster Hunter Freedom 2 is known as Monster Hunter Portable 2nd. 2008. The third and last game of the second generation is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. It was released in Japan under the name Monster Hunter Portable 2nd G before coming to the West as Freedom Unite one year later. This game is an expansion of Monster Hunter Freedom 2, but doesn't just add a few monsters or gathering quests. Instead, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite is the biggest installment of the series for its time, adding no less than 11 new large monsters, feline comrades to help new hunters, new weapons and armors, as well as over 200 new quests. While Monster Hunter Freedom 2 took only 40 hours to finish the main story, it takes around 100 hours to do the same in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And if this isn't enough monster bashing for you, completing all the side missions in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite takes about 463 hours against around 160 for its predecessor. 2009, the third generation of Monster Hunter starts with Monster Hunter Tri, known as Monster Hunter 3. The game was supposed to come out on PlayStation 3, but the development costs were too high, so Capcom opted for the Wii instead. The third generation of Monster Hunter games introduced 56 
these monsters, and for the first time, most of them didn't come from previous installments of the series. Players can chase these monsters across 16 hunting grounds. The third generation also introduces two new weapon types, the Switch Axe and Medium Bow Gun. The other game in the series sees players as members of the hunting guild that needs to save a local village from the assault of powerful monsters. In Monster Hunter 3, the shelter is the Moga Village, a small fishing community that is under threat of monsters from a nearby deserted island. As the action takes place on an island, a new feature appears in Monster Hunter, that being the ability to swim and hunt underwater. Once back on land, players can also use a torch to illuminate dark caverns throughout the island. 2010, a new installment is released for the PlayStation Portable, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. The game adapts the core content of Monster Hunter Tri into a new single player campaign and adds new monster subspecies, some weapons that didn't make it into the original game, as well as a hot spring for the village, drinks feline, and the transporter. Unlike Monster Hunter Tri, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd does not support swimming in underwater fights. This handheld game was never translated into English and is exclusive to Japan and Korea. The next Monster Hunter game to be available worldwide is Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, released for both the Wii U and 3DS consoles. The underwater features that weren't available in Monster Hunter Portable 3rd are back, as well as online play for the Wii U version. The online city of Lock Lack in Monster Hunter Tri is replaced with Port Tanzia. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate includes the monsters and weapons introduced with Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, as well as new small and large monsters. If you are an avid Monster Hunter player, you may notice that there are way more games available out there than the ones we are talking about. And you're right, there are tons of Monster Hunter titles, but not that many original games. Some installments just have different names depending on where they were released. In the case of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, its 3DS version is also known as Monster Hunter 3G in Japan, while the Wii U version is named Monster Hunter 3G HD version. We will get back to these names a little later. 2013, Monster Hunter 4 marks the beginning of the fourth generation of Monster Hunter games. This generation of games adds several new features, making hunts feel even better than before. For the first time in the series, players are able to hunt on tri-dimensional terrain using both the vertical and horizontal environments. An infectious disease called the Frenzy Virus also makes its first appearance, causing monsters to become more aggressive and powerful. Players can also get infected by this disease, but unfortunately, you won't turn into an almighty beast. You just won't be able to get back health without the help of healing items until the virus wears off or after sleeping on a camp bed. The fourth generation of Monster Hunter games also adds several villages in the offline mode, so hunters can travel from one location to the other and get new quests. The Meowster Hunter minigame to craft Palico equipment was also implemented. Monster Hunter 4 released for the Nintendo 3DS in Japan only. Hunters can now jump and climb around to attack monsters from above, but they can no longer swim or fight underwater. Monster Hunter 4 is the first handheld Monster Hunter game to feature online multiplayer. Many monsters from previous installments come back to the game and hunters get two new weapon types to fight them off, the Insect Glaive and the Charge Blade. The story takes place across various villages, such as the port town of Valhaybar, Hearth, an underground village flowing with magma, Chico Sands, an island populated by felines, and Cathar, a small town in the mountains. 2015, Monster Hunter 4 makes its way to North America, Europe, and Australia under the name Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. This game is an improved version of Monster Hunter 4, featuring hundreds of quests to slice off monsters and gather important resources. Just like its predecessor, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate is released for the Nintendo 3DS and features online multiplayer. It takes the main features of the original game, such as the ability to climb and perform jump attacks, it also adds 10 new monsters to the 85 returning ones and brings back the Carapeceon monsters from the second generation. Remember when we talked about the various names of Monster Hunter games? For almost every generation of Monster Hunter games, Capcom released enhanced versions of the main installments. These improved versions add the suffix G in Japan and Ultimate in North America and Europe. This is why the first Monster Hunter got an exclusive Japan release titled Monster Hunter G and why the Western version of Monster Hunter 4 is called Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. 2015, a new game is released in Japan called Monster Hunter Cross. The game celebrates the first decade of Monster Hunter games and features fan favorite cities like Kokoto Village from the first generation, Poki Village from the second, Yakumo Village from the third, and the brand new village of Burna. The game also brings back popular monsters and weapons from the previous installments. Gameplay wise, Monster Hunter Cross adds the ability to take control of a feline through the Prowler mode. The game also introduces a new 
special move known as hunting arts. As hunters fight their prey, the special move charges up. Once ready, hunters can unleash its power to deal massive damage to their enemies, provide buffs, or heal allies. 2016, Monster Hunter Cross makes its way to the West under the name Monster Hunter Generations. 2017, Japanese players get an enhanced version of Monster Hunter Cross called Monster Hunter Double Cross. This improved version features cross-platform multiplayer, but never made it to the West. Monster Hunter Double Cross and Monster Hunter Generations were both ported to the Nintendo Switch, respectively under the names of Monster Hunter Double Cross, Nintendo Switch version, and Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. 2018, the fifth generation arrives with Monster Monster Hunter World. This new generation puts the emphasis on the hunt rather than the pure shredding of enemies. Hunters can now track their prey by looking at footprints or food scraps. There are even stealth tactics to avoid being detected by monsters to pick the perfect time to launch an attack. Hunters can lure monsters to specific areas, trap them, and even make them fight against each other. The maps are almost twice as big as the ones of the previous games. There are no loading screens between areas, and hunters can fast travel between the main village of of Asteria and the research base airship. Areas are richer than before, with endemic life providing buffs to the hunter, debuffs to the monsters, or triggering environmental traps. Monsters also live their lives on their own, and sometimes they will fight each other in turf wars. Monster Hunter World is the first game of the series to be released worldwide simultaneously. The game was first released on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, before being ported to Microsoft Windows a few months later. For the first time, the Japanese and Western servers are not separated, meaning that all players can hunt together no matter where they are from. 2019, Monster Hunter World gets its first expansion, Iceborne. This new game continues the story of Monster Hunter World, asking hunters to travel to a snowy region to defeat monsters. The terrain progressively expands with the story, eventually becoming the largest region in the game so far. Of course, this new region comes with its own monsters, such as Velkana, an elder dragon with powerful ice attacks. Monster Hunter World Iceborne adds a new quest tier above high rank, new combos, and elements for the 14 weapon types, as well as new gear and items to craft. Monster Hunter returns to handheld consoles with Monster Hunter Rise, a Nintendo Switch exclusive, so far at least. A Microsoft Windows version is planned for release in January 2022. Monster Hunter Rise brings hunters to Kamora Village, a small town near the mountains. To help them climb the terrain more easily, Monster Hunter Rise adds a new traveling mechanic to hunters, the wire bugs. This mechanic lets hunters use wire-based grappling actions to climb up cliffs and reach other heights. This gives players the ability to climb higher than ever before. Monster Hunter Rise introduces new hunting companions called Palamutes. Hunters can mount them to ride across the terrain, but the canine companions can also help them attack enemies. An expansion to Monster Hunter Rise called Sunbreak is scheduled for release in mid-2022. Leave the beast to me. This is a royal matter. Besides the main installments in the game series, other titles were released throughout the years to expand the Monster Hunter universe. The first Monster Hunter spin-off is Monster Hunter I, a mobile game released in 2006. It is a port of Monster Hunter G, the Japan exclusive game for the PlayStation 2 of the first generation. Monster Hunter I is offline only, and hunters chase mostly monsters from Monster Hunter G. One year later, Asian players discovered one of the most popular Monster Hunter spin-offs, Monster Hunter Frontier. This game, also known as Monster Hunter Frontier Online, and Monster Hunter Frontier Z is an MMORPG set in the Monster Hunter universe. It received several updates through expansion packs known as Seasons and Forwards, which introduced new locations, armor sets, and new monsters between 2007 and 2012. Monster Hunter Frontier offered no less than 10 seasons and 5 forwards, each bringing their new features. Monster Hunter Frontier Z also received an expansion pack in 2013 called Monster Hunter Frontier G. Monster Hunter Frontier was available through a monthly feature in Japan, Korea, and China. Capcom teamed up with another popular development studio, From Software in 2010. The creators of Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and the upcoming Elden Ring released Monster Hunter Diary, Poka Poka Iru Village, a cartoonish spin-off of Monster Hunter where players give orders to felines to progress through the main story. Monster Hunter Diary, Poka Poka Iru Village will get a Japanese mobile version called Monster Hunter Diary, Mobile Iru Village, as well as two enhanced versions called Monster Hunter Diary, Poka Poka Feline, Village G, and Monster Hunter Diary, Poka Poka Iru Village DX. The game will also get a spin-off focused on puzzle solving, simply titled Feline Puzzle. That is a lot of uh, games. 
A spin-off of the second generation of Monster Hunter games came out for the iPhone in 2011 called Monster Hunter Dynamic Hunting. This game took advantage of the touchpad featured on the iPhone to spice up monster hunting. Hunters can choose a monster to track from the menu. Once defeated, it unlocks new monsters. At the end of 2011, another mobile game came out, but only in Japan, Monster Hunter Phantom Island Voyage. This game is based on the monsters of Monster Hunter Frontier. Players can raise their own monsters and pit them against other monsters in battle. Japanese players got two mobile Monster Hunter games in 2013, Monster Hunter Massive Hunting and Monster Hunter Big Game Hunting Quest. Monster Hunter Massive Hunting is a classic hunting game where hunters have to defeat various monsters. Monster Hunter Big Game Hunting Quest is a card battle RPG featuring popular faces from the Monster Hunter universe. The same year, Chinese players discovered Monster Hunter Online, a free-to-play MMORPG developed by Tencent Games running on CryEngine 3. This MMORPG was never exported outside of China, not even to Japan, where Monster Hunter was already a popular game series. Monster Hunter received a browser-based spin-off called Monster Hunter Mezaporta Reclamation in 2014. Hunters can select an area and face powerful monsters. As with several other Monster Hunter spin-offs, this game was only available in Japan. Monster Hunter came to arcade systems with Monster Hunter Spirits in 2015. Like Monster Hunter Mezaporta Reclamation and so many other Monster Hunter games, Monster Hunter Spirits was only released in Japan. Again, like you, you guys get it. Another Monster Hunter game came out in 2015, Monster Hunter Smart, later renamed Monster Hunter Explore. As usual, the hunters have to find and defeat monsters. The game features online multiplayer to fight enemies with up to three other players. Each victory unlocks new missions and areas. The game made it out of Japan with a soft launch in Canada. However, it won't go much further as its release worldwide was canceled. Shoutouts to the Canadians though, eh? Players discovered an RPG version of Monster Hunter with Monster Hunter Stories in 2016. Unlike the main game series, players take the role of a rider instead of a hunter. The goal is not to slash every monster you meet, but rather to befriend them and steal their eggs to hatch new monsters. The combat is turn-based, and both the riders and their monsters attack the enemy. Monster Hunter Stories is basically Pokemon, but in the Monster Hunter universe. Monster Hunter Riders brings another RPG to Japanese fans of Monster Hunter in 2020. This free-to-play mobile game is a spin-off of Monster Hunter Stories with simplified combats and gameplay. And then finally, Monster Hunter gets a second RPG spin-off with Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin in 2021. This sequel to Monster Hunter Stories is the latest to date and directly follows the events of the first game. In the aftermath of Monster Hunter Stories, players embody a young monster rider who will travel the world with his friend to unravel the prophecies surrounding the Wings of Ruin. And there you have it, that wraps up all the Monster Hunter games released so far. Which one's your favorite? Which one has the least original name? Let us know in the comments. As usual, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the leaderboard for more gaming content every single week. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you next time.